What's up everybody, it's Alex from Everything for iPod and today I have a little comparison between the iPad 2 and the new iPad, the Retina screen. I'm really going to show that off today. Now I can say there's no really way to show it off on camera. First of all, because the new iPad has so many pixels that it is kind of hard to show on the screen because your computer screen probably has less pixels than this iPad. The best way to really see this is to go into an Apple store and look at it, but I do have some screenshots to show you what the difference is. So the first image I have here is the iPad 2 up in the upper left hand corner and then the new iPad just basically showing you that the new iPad has four times as many pixels as the iPad 2. Same size screen, but it has four times as many pixels. So you can see that the new iPad keyboard is on the top and the iPad 2 keyboard is on the bottom. You can see here that the text on the new iPad just looks so much sharper. The lines look a lot smoother, um, a lot sharper. They don't look as uh, rough. They don't look pixelated. And same with the rounded corners on the keys. You can see they're a lot sharper. They look a lot nicer, a lot more real than the very pixelated and kind of blurry edges on the iPad 2. So if we take a look at a close-up of a hand on Apple's website using the iPad, we can see that on the new iPad, the lines in the hand are much more detailed, much more sharp, and the edge of the hand you can see much clearer than the iPad 2. The iPad 2, you can see some detail, but a lot of that detail uh, is unnoticeable and you can't see as well as on the new iPad. And also the edge of the hand up here in the top area on the new iPad is much sharper. It's much more of a uh, definitive line than on the iPad 2 where it's kind of blurred and fuzzed out. So this is one of those examples of where you can't really see the difference in the retina screen. Here in the App Store, it is a little bit obvious in the title, but the, for the most part, the rest of the text really does look almost the same in the new iPad and the iPad 2. The logo kind of looks really similar. Uh, nothing really we can see there in differences because a lot of apps aren't optimized for the new iPad yet. So we're not going to see a lot of images and a lot of games that really take advantage of the retina screen yet, but we probably will see that in the future. Here we have a close-up split in half. On the left is the old iPad 2, on the right the new iPad. And we can really see here that in the text it doesn't, it's not too much of a difference. Um, it, you can see it a little bit, but really where you can see the difference here is in the iPad. You can see in the title bar, um, not the title bar, but up in the top uh, black bar where the menu items are on the iPad, it does look sharper on the little portion you can see on the right. The flower also does look like the water droplets look a little sharper on the right than on the left. And also the sides of the iPad um, look a little more pixelated on the left than the right. This was taken all the way zoomed out on Apple's website. It was zoomed in uh, on the computer, so that's a fair way of doing it. And you can really see that the text doesn't look that much different, but the iPad does. Here's a close-up of some apps on the iPad 2 and the new iPad. On the bottom, you can see they're much clearer. But really what I want to point out is that you will only see a difference with the Apple app. So all four of these apps are made by Apple, so they are optimized for the Retina screen. However, right now, apps that you download off the App Store, most of them do not have icons that are optimized for the Retina screen, so they will pretty much look identical on the iPad 2 and the new iPad. Okay, to wrap this video up, I really just want to say a few things. I'm going to put the specs to the screen of the iPad 2 and the new iPad in the description of this video so you can go ahead and compare them. And I also want to clear something up. The iPhone 4S is a 326 pixel per inch display, while the new iPad has a 264 pixel per inch display. So technically, the iPhone 4S has a higher quality display than the new iPad. I really didn't notice that but it does have a higher quality display. A lot of you were confused about that, so I just want to clear things up. Also, it is really hard to show what the actual quality of the new iPad screen is like in video. The iPad has more pixels than the screen you're watching on now, most likely, so it really is hard to show that. The best way to find out and see the screen for yourself is really to go into an Apple store, look at the screen, see if you like it, um, I really recommend doing that. While it, you can show it a little bit um, on a computer screen, the best way to do it is to go see it with your eyes. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. I'll have more videos on the new iPad coming soon. That's it. See you later.